Hi! I'm Madeline and thank you so much for joining me for your Written in the Stars November Terrascope. If this is your first time joining me, this is a video where I do a monthly tarot reading for each sign and I really highly recommend that you also check out the Terrascope for your rising sign and your moon sign and that's not just for me, I promise, that's for you. Um, I really thank you for joining me um, and I hope that you find your reading really empowering and resonant for the month of November and I would love to hear from you in the comments if anything really resonates with you or if you have questions about anything so you can uh, let me know that in the comments below and I would really love it if you would find me on social media and all that stuff is linked below too Facebook Instagram all the things um, I'm wishing you a great November and I hope that you really enjoy your reading and without further ado Welcome to your November Terrascope. Hey Scorpio, thank you for joining me again for your November 2016 Terrascope. Very happy to be with you. Let us see what is up for you in November 2016. Scorpio, November 2016. I'm sorry if I sound a little, um, <clears throat> a little bit husky, um, coming down with a little bit of something. Woo! Alrighty. Nice. Scorpio, November 2016. Okay. Ah, oh, intense as is predictable for you, Scorpio. All or nothing, Scorpio. <laughs> okay. All right, Scorpio. So, um, you being who you are, let's get right down to business, right? Um, I see so much great stuff and so much like ascension, like you're moving up, you're leveling up. Sorry, my hand is like, this is a mountain, this is a roller coaster, you're going up. Um, <laughs> I, I see so much good stuff that I want to get right to the things that are not so good so that we can just, um, so that we can focus on where you're going. Um, to get there, you are going to have to go through a little bit of, I'm feeling like there's a little bit of separation in November. This is, I mean, there's no getting around the, the imagery of this card. This is heartbreak. This is a sense of like separation. Again, I want to say separation. So for some of you, it's like, um, uh, these are general readings. So it's, it's hard to be as specific as I would love to be. Um, so for some of you, this is a real, a heartbreak, like a, a breakup or, or a betrayal that happens to you um, to the point where you just feel completely heartbroken over it and completely decimated and alone. It's a very lonely, isolated card. Um, and for some of you, this is a, a separation. Um, it could be a literal legal one, but for many of you, like geographical distance that is put between you and someone else that is painful. Um, and I feel like, um, it's like I almost want to say, Scorpio, that you have so many things to do that in a way um, it's being moved out of your way because you, you have so much to do, you have places to go, and you can't carry everything see this guy carrying his seven swords. He's got seven swords, only five in his hand now because he's left two in the ground and he's moving on. And yeah, he looks like a thief. He's leaving in the night. He's taking these swords. He's looking over his shoulder. Um, but you can't feel guilty about this, Scorpio. You can't feel guilty that you couldn't carry everything. And swords are the mental realm. So this is like a mental, psychological type of burden that you can't carry anymore. Um, so if there is a sense of separation or betrayal in your life, um, I want you to trust as much as you can that it's, it's being done so that you can move forward with more power and with more mental bandwidth to do other things. Like this is not what you need to be putting your focus on at this time, so it's being sort of removed from your life. Um, don't drive looking in the rear view mirror. Notice this snake here in the card. If he doesn't look 
if he doesn't stop looking over his shoulder and go ahead and look forward, he could get bitten. So definitely watch where you're going. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I don't mean that as like a, an, uh, to admonish you or to scold you. I mean that, um, that having your mind on the future is going to behoove you. You are a powerful soul, Scorpio, um, and you're showing up in your reading this month as the Queen of Swords. You are a water sign, but the Queen of Swords is powerful the way that you are powerful. And you do have a way of words, Scorpio. You do have a way of, um, a lot of you are very quiet, and that's what Spirit is saying, but you may be using some cutting words this month. You may be um, summing up a situation in a few pithy paragraphs in a way that really does uh, some breaking through for you. I feel like you're gonna rally people around you and begin a community. So some of you are gonna be doing things as like, um, as mental and yet um, mundane in a sense as like starting social media accounts for something. Um, like you need to get the word out there and get the word to the people. That's what I'm feeling is like it's a populist thing. Um, so it's interesting, like some of us, um, if you're watching this early in the month, uh, you may be working for one of the presidential campaigns and now it's like getting into a fervor and you're really needing to get the word out there and cut through all the noise because, you know, you see the head in her hand. Um, <laughs> you're needing to cut through some crap and really get the word out. Um, and wow, I really want to say that some of you are taking classes in November or you're reaching really, really critical points in your classes. Like you are learning so much and it's taking you, it's going to take you so far if you continue with it, Scorpio. Um, I'm really excited for you to see these together. Um, the world is like ultimate, ultimate knowledge. Like like the completion of a cycle, like understanding, reaching the top. It's like having a bird's eye view of your life and being like, wow, I, I see that I've done these patterns in my life. Or like, wow, now I can see why I went through this in, in you know, eight years ago. And Spirit is saying specifically for some of you, there is something that happened eight years ago that like, if I hadn't been through that, then I never would have learned X and then gotten to Y and today I get to have Z. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, and, and in November, I feel that many of you are taking solace in your education is what Spirit said. Many of you are taking solace in, in reading books or taking a literal uh, class, whether it's like at a, you're in school or you're in college or you're taking like night classes or online classes. You're really enjoying the mental the peace of mind and the progress that comes with that um because many of you many of you are sort of like um it's funny it's like it's hard work and yet it's escapist for you because your emotional life has been in a little bit of turmoil if you see here on this side of the boat there's these crashing waves but they're moving toward these smooth seas and clearer days and these six swords, these the sixes are harmony and equilibrium. And you're moving toward greater harmony and equilibrium because you're understanding some patterns in your life. So that letting go that you're gonna do is gonna help you realize some patterns in your life. Like, wow, really, really gonna crystallize some things. Um, I'm sorry if you hear me, like uh, my voice, I'm sorry if it sounds a little strange. Um, I'm coming down with a little something. Uh, Okay. Oh, wow, 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 wow. I love, love. God, it's like I said, this is such a great month for you. Um, other than because I don't want to downplay this, again, the separation or betrayal or heartbreak over here. But it's like there's so much happening for you in November that is so positive. Um, have faith in your mission. That's what Spirit said very clearly. Have faith in your mission. Um, many of you are like, am I ever going to get this thing that I'm working toward? And for some of you, it's like this degree or this certification or this achievement that you're going to get through this education or this training. Um, and yes, absolutely. You need to keep your why in mind. Why? Why? The, the, the Knight of Pentacles is practical. The Knight of Pentacles is like, I put one foot in front of the other in order to go down the path to take me where it is that I want to go. He's like a mason who builds a wall stone by stone by stone, 
carefully and patiently and day by day by day without rushing because he knows that he needs to complete every step very carefully to create the best wall that he can. He has the skills and he's not going to rush it. And right here you have it next to the star. The star which is the sign of optimism. I'm so sorry. Hold on, Scorpio. Sorry about that, Scorpio. The, the camera made a very angry sound at me and told me that the battery was going to run out, so I had to plug her back in. But as I was saying, okay, so you have it right here next to the star, which like I said, Spirit was saying, you need to remember your why. Why you need to do all these mundane tasks day after day after day in order to get to the destination that you're trying to reach. Why is it that you want to reach this destination? It fills you with hope. It fills you with energy. It's your purpose. It's your North Star. You're following your North Star. So for some of you, you just need to put up like post-its or paintings, art, that evoke this purpose that you have. You need to see things every day and, and hear things every day that inspire you and that fill you with this energy that, that is going to take you to where you want to go. So remember your why. And I love it. I mean, look look at him, the Knight of Pentacles, chasing this pentacle. And then what do you see right after that? The perfect validation, Scorpio, that you're heading in the right direction. That yes, your pentacle is there for you. Look, a set among these, this lush, beautiful landscape. Like, it's so fertile. And, and the aces of pentacles, the pentacles are the earth element. So that's money, jobs, resources. You are investing in yourself and spirit says it's going to pay off. It's going to pay off all your hard work, the learning that you're doing, your education, the patterns that you're breaking and understanding and, and moving away from. It's all leading to this amazing like breakthrough in this, this, this new abundance. You're creating alchemy. The stuff, the crap that you've been through, the pain that you've been through, the, the, moments, the moments in time that you have transcended, you were... I mean, this is transcendence. Temperance is, you, you're taking lead and making it into gold. What you have learned, you are making into a better life for yourself. It was hard. It was really hard. But Scorpio, your watchword is transformation, transmutation. You get down in the crap. It's like, like, and, and I love you so much. I, I mean, no disrespect when I say like, you are the Zodiac's compost heap. Like, you can take garbage and, and make something beautiful grow from it. You are the gorgeous representation of death and rebirth, Scorpio. And I'm feeling like some of you, there, there can be a little bit of a temptation this month um, to overindulge in drinking. Um, Spirit is saying that for some of you, um, and again, like, I, I mean, no offense, because these are very general readings. I get a lot of impressions because this is for everyone who is of sun, moon, or rising sign Scorpio. Um, if you do want something more personal and more in-depth, I definitely do one-on-one -on -one readings, and I would love to work with you. Um, I've linked my shop below if you are into that. But for some of you, Spirit is saying that there could be the temptation to indulge in a lot of alcohol or in drugs. Um, and to kind of change your mindset in an artificial way. And um, practice moderation, Scorpio. It's not like you can't have a drink. It's, it's, if you're in the U.S., you're, it's going to be Thanksgiving. There's certainly going to be wine and liquor and, and beer and, you know, football and all that stuff. Um, and that's okay, but don't go overboard. You definitely want to have your head on your shoulders because you are going to be presented with some amazing opportunities in November. Um, many of you, these could be job opportunities and opportunities, uh, like for promotion. Um, Spirit said interviews. So some of you may be doing interviews and then Spirit immediately, wow, like, like you're talking so fast, Spirit, um, immediately then said, you may not even know it's an interview at the time. You could be talking to somebody who is influential, who you didn't sign up for a formal job interview, um, you didn't write a resume, but you speak to this person and this person then keeps you in mind and reaches out to you again because you're the, the person that they, I mean, when they have a job or an opportunity, 
you're the person that leaves their mind. So um, definitely don't ignore any networking opportunities in November. That is important for you, Scorpio spirit. Completely kind of like pulled the brakes right as I was picking up this sun card. <laughs> okay. Um, so, I mean, wow. Things also become amazingly clear for you in November. It's like someone turns the lights on and you've been in this dark room in some way. And so again, they're talking about like you have an epiphany. Like you have an epiphany and your purpose and your why just makes so much sense to you. And as you continue to pursue that and you get that validation, it's like it, it becomes so much easier to go forward because you can see now where the path is going. It's not like, oh God, I hope I'm going in the right direction. It's like, oh my God, I'm, I'm seeing like road signs now. I'm seeing... Uh, you know, uh, victory city, 10 miles. Like, I get it. I can see where I'm going. And this is positivity. This is a wonderful card to see in your spread. And November brings, like, excitement and insight and victory. And, and speaking of victory and, like, uh, just joy. Joy, Scorpio. Again, like I said, if you're in the U.S., yes, it's it's Thanksgiving, and this is the card for like happy homecoming. So being with family, feeling loved and supported, and that could be blood family, or that could be like your tribe, like the people who feel like family in your life, your community. Um, you're gonna feel so supported in in November, and it's so important because you are gonna go through this this betrayal or this sense of like loss or detachment from something, but this is going to be there for you. These people, this community of yours, your friends or your partner, or the people that want to be by your side and have your best interests at heart are going to be there for you. And providing a, a fours in the tarot are about structure and you're going to feel solid. You won't be alone and you will be provided a place to rest your head and to rest your spirit and to feel heard and loved and welcomed and understood. So I feel like you do feel tremendously supported in November, even if you are going through this. Wow. You are a mysterious one, Scorpio. And the Hierophant is definitely one of the most sort of considered mysterious cards in the tarot. Um, even experienced tarot readers can have like trouble reading this card at times. And the Hierophant in, in the classic deck was known as the Pope. He is all about tradition and sort of secret or, or at least dense knowledge, knowledge that not everybody is walking around having. Now, um, he was known in the Pope back in the day, I mean, hundreds and hundreds of years ago, because that was like the ultimate sign and one of the few of again, very like privatized almost, I want to say knowledge. But nowadays that could be like, that could be of course a priest, um, a, a rabbi, a, any, any religious leader. Um, but that could also be like a personal trainer. That could be a tarot reader. That could be a, a history professor with like a uh, focus on holy wars like <laughs> I don't know why spirit was going like there in that specific so but that, that has significance for some of you but this is about you need to become the an authority in your own right is what spirit is saying you are leveling up in November and what is it that you need to seek special knowledge about Scorpio what is it that you need to specialize in? What is it that you need to, what laws do you need to abide by? What tradition would you benefit from joining? What structure could, could really provide something um, edifying in your life? Like what would crystallize that why for you? What, would, what structure could you channel all that energy through in order to get what you want? Like for some of you, you're going to be like, okay, I need to get my master's degree. And for others of you, it's going to be like, I need to get a certain certification or I need to seek someone who has done what I want to do and speak with them. So for some of you, this is about seeking a mentor. The Hierophant can be a spiritual mentor or again, just a mentor that has specialized knowledge, a doctor. Um, 
so seek this mentor and seek and so ye shall find I am butchering it but you know what I'm talking about um, if you want this if you want this teacher Scorpio then you need to just have that in your mind and have your eyes open be on the lookout you are being led this said be faithful because you are being led in the right direction and if what you need is some structure and some leadership that is going to be out there for you so seek that knowledge and as always I'm going to be pulling one card that I really want you to notice or evoke or remember for the month and um, before I do that I just want to say thank you again for listening and that I really appreciate any um, liking and subscribing that you do and sharing this with friends because it really helps me out so much so I really want to just say thank you for that I really appreciate it and the card that I would really like you to most embody or remember or take from this this month Scorpio is I, I want to go with this guy I want to tell you that what you want is very much within your reach as long as you see it as within your reach see how close that is to him that golden pentacle I mean it's floating there in the air so clearly it is magical it's nothing simple or easy but it's right in his reach if he just keeps going forward keeps doing what he does faithfully and with his with that as his vision he will get there and you will get there Scorpio I I really like November for you. I'm excited to hear what what you what happens to you. So I hope that you let me know what is this pentacle that you're going for and how are you getting to it? I mean, all of us would like to know your special secrets and I know that you have secret Scorpio because that is your whole thing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed your reading. And again, if you have any comments or questions, I would love to hear from you in the comments below, or you can also find me on social media and hook up with me there. That would be awesome. I would also really love it if you would check out my blog, writteninthestars.co, if you want to see some horoscopes, some new moon talk, all that good stuff. Uh, I would love to see you there too. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope that you have a fabulous month. If you enjoyed this video, I hope that you will like it and subscribe. And I hope to see you in December. Have a wonderful month. Bye-bye.